Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about something that's related to Disney in some, way, some kind of way, whether it's their theme parks or movies or whatever, I guess. I guess in this case, it's something in regards of a sort of fan, I guess, whom I would say that definitely lost quite a bit of weight, 150 pounds, by walking around the theme park. Well, one of the theme parks anyway. And of course, I'm not going to make any jokes about overweight, because I know some people out there that do generally have um, a problem with that. I mean, okay, others just are lazy. I brought that gain weight upon themselves, sure, but not everyone can help help it, I guess. So, I guess this individual decided to do the most common sense approach by doing something about the weight problem. And I guess this can, I guess you can say this was a pretty good way of doing it. There was this individual, this man who lives in California. And he resulted in losing weight, 150 pounds, like I said, and he stated that he did it by going to Disneyland. And that's a good way of doing it, I guess, because it is a popular place, and it's, it's quite large, no pun intended. After a major health scare, which motivated him to do something about it. He stated that his then girlfriend and now wife had suggested taking very long walks around this this area. So he thought it would make sense and he just, you know, he went along with it of course. He stated that he explained he just uh uh came from a two week coma when he got some shocking news from his doctor, from, these, uh, from the this reports, suggesting that he was, he needed. He recently told the the what had occurred. The doctor st said that he really needed to do something, or he's definitely not going to last much longer. So obviously, he had to do something because it doesn't say. Things would have got pretty crazy for, for this dude. At the time, he says that he was about 400, pla 400 pounds, I believe, and his body has gone into diabetic shock, so to speak. And yes, even his kidneys were reportedly shutting down. So yeah, this dude was in serious trouble. So anyway, he brought the fact that his situation was dire. Well, obviously, it was enough that, let's just say that something definitely had to be done. So anyway, and this was something that he had came to mind, obviously. In order to get the exercise he needed, his girlfriend at the time, he suggested that the both of them had to head to Disneyland and simply just walk it off. And just trying to do something about this. So yeah, the first two times he said that he came to a, a place just to walk around, it was tough, you know, of course, because it wasn't something he was used to at that time. And yeah, he went on to say that you know, after, let's say, a good two weeks, he definitely fell in love with the place. So eventually, he says that he was walking seven miles a day around the park. Well, you gotta start somewhere, I guess. Obviously. Aside from the exercise, he, of course, had changed his eating habits, which makes sense because you can't do all that walking and not change a thing. It's not gonna really matter. So, yeah, of course, it wasn't just a matter of what they ate. It was also the portions of what the both of them ate, he had brought the fact that they had to cut down on basically everything. So he went on to say that the both of them never got 
the own thing, I guess, was, I guess, always a share, I suppose. I guess, in other words, this is like a bonding experience in a lot of ways, which works, you know, when you're in a relationship with somebody, you're supposed to do this kind of a thing. Anyway, he also brought, stated that this allowed him to still eat foods like turkey legs, corn dogs, and even stuff like that. But he goes on to say that it took him about five years to lose about five, yeah, 500, yeah, like we're saying, 150 pounds. That's quite a bit, folks. Took him about a good five years. He was explaining using this method. Now, he's married, has a daughter, and actually works for Disneyland as a houseman at their hotel. So, there you go. So, he's also taking advantage of this kind of program they have over there to get his bachelor's degree and eventually he wants to get his master's degree. So, I guess he, this was definitely a good thing and putting an inspiring story for him and his family. So, a lot of people say the best of luck, obviously. So, see? Going to the Disney stuff can actually be a helpful kind of a thing, folks. And all I can say is that, I mean, if this helps, I guess do it. Go for it. It definitely saved this man's life. And it definitely changed a lot of things for him in so many ways. So, in other words, what I'm saying is that it did make him feel inspired to do this kind of stuff. So... I like to bring up these kinds of videos uh, for my Disney movie marathon because I guess they're bringing in some good stuff, some good news. I know I'm usually talking about some negative stuff, which I guess in some ways I don't mind because you, you become more aware, but I don't want to come off too much of negative Nancy, even though I do come up like that at times. So I want to bring up something positive, I suppose. I always complain about something. I, I'm usually complaining about stuff, so. But, I just want to bring up some things like this, for example, somebody knew they had, they had a weight problem, so of course, they decided to do something about it, which a lot of people should do. And a lot of people realize that they have problems, but never really fix it, and that's a shame. If you have a problem with your weight gain, and you become obese, there's always ways you can prevent that. And if anyone is currently in that situation, I guess depending on their medical history, there could be possible ways of fixing that. If there's a will, there's a way, as the old saying goes. So, yeah, it's, I guess in some ways it's a good thing to see some positivity. Like I said before, I, was a re I lived for quite some time, folks. I'm a top secret agent, and I've been around for about uh, over 100 years. And it's a good thing to actually see people wanting to help themselves. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I'm younger than... I look like a lot younger than my age would suggest. So, but still, like I said, it's still a good thing to see some people that actually try to help themselves and whatnot. That's definitely a good thing. So anyway, folks. As, I'll just end it here. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh yeah.